The plan for 2017 was vacation, was watching my daughter graduate college. When the doctor is telling you that you've got non-small cell lung cancer, all that goes out the window. Now it's like, am I gonna be alive for her graduation? How am I gonna catch my next breath? That's where it was at. Looking back, I can see that the allergies and asthma and hay fever and these sorts of things I've been having for a couple of years was probably the lung cancer growing. My hardest part for a lung cancer diagnosis is telling my family. The whole family gets diagnosed with cancer. It's not just the patient. It's really difficult when you're the caregiver and you don't know about this cancer and how to fix it. And you see your loved one in a lot of pain. And I'm not one to be afraid to go out there and um, run up and down the hospital and say, she needs help. What do we got to do? Those are the kind of things I think we do as supporters, caregivers, helpers, to make sure she gets the treatments and gets the right attention she needs. I had no resources. And that made me feel like I was out in the middle of the ocean without a life preserver, drowning. Not just figuratively, literally, because I had the pneumonia that wasn't going away easily. And that's what it felt like I was just gasping for air. I was told specifically by my doctor, do not go online, do not look things up. My doctor did not discuss any sort of biomarkers or genetic mutations. She mentioned to me that my, my testing, my results were going to be sent off and we were waiting for a couple of weeks for some sort of genetic marker. I know that the biomarkers are what makes the difference now, but that I have had to learn on my own. So I got for a second opinion, um, and it's December 2019, and the doctor sat down, and she's like, with this KRAS mutation, I said, I have a mutation? Yeah. You've got KRAS G12D. I remember sitting there looking at a piece of paper, talking to the doctor, but all I heard was this KRAS, and I'm like, I'm gonna go find my people. Then uh, that's when, um, in January 2020, I, I started the KRAS Kickers because I just wanted to bring people together around this common mutation. I wanted to find out what it meant, what it looked like, and how it worked. Finding out information when you can't change your diagnosis is everything. It's empowering, it's informational, it's hopeful. It starts with the family, it starts with community, and whatever your circles of care are that you need, that support, that education, the meal, the hug, the understanding, the great doctors, second opinions, all that are part of it. But most importantly, live and love and be here today.